You at the Zoo is an eTech Ohio project produced in partnership with CET, Think TV, and the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden, with additional support provided by the Robert Gould Foundation. Hi, I'm Thane Maynard from the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden. And I'm Ebony from the U.S. Zoo team. Today we're investigating plants and the structures they use to survive, like seeds. A good seed design is very important. A seed that lands too close to its parent tree might not get enough sunlight or nutrients to survive. But this is a model of an interesting seed design. It has long wings like a maple seed to help it fall slowly, catch the wind, and blow away. To find out more about plant survival, let's talk to Bernadette Flair, a scientist here at the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden. The main structures that most plants are made of are roots, stems, leaves, flowers, and seeds. Plants use their roots like straws. They can absorb water and nutrients from the soil. The roots also help to support the plants in the soil, and some roots act as a storage for food. The stems allow nutrients from the roots to go up into the plant, and the leaves are the parts of the plant that actually make the food for the plant. Through photosynthesis, they can provide the nutrients such as glucose and other things that the plants need. The flowers contain the seeds and the flowers attract pollinators that help with reproduction and the seeds themselves are the parts of the plant that form new plants so they are very important to the plant. Plants need to defend themselves because they too are looking to survive and in order for them to not be eaten by predators some plants have thorns or bristles that they develop to deter predators. They have chemical means of doing it whereby they produce nasty tasting things. They have also toxins that cause nausea and so on for the animals and that's a deterrent to them. The sensitive plant is a good example of plant defense. This plant has little tiny leaves and the response of touch makes all these tiny little leaves close up. The plant looks like it's dead when it closes up like that. The sensitive plant also has some little thorns on it and we talked about thorns being a defense mechanism as well. It's a fascinating little plant, the sensitive plant. I never knew plants could be so competitive, but Ebony, exactly what are you doing? Practicing my defense, because the U.S. Zoo team is heading to the ring for a closer look. Hi, I'm Dawn. Hi, I'm Eliana. Hi, I'm Haley. Hi, I'm Holly, and today we're investigating plants. We are talking about plants and their defense mechanisms and how they adapt to different things. What are some of the things that plants may need to protect themselves from? Insects. Insects is very good. What else? Different animals. Different animals. How about people? Do they have to protect themselves from us sometimes? Do we sometimes go and pick flowers if we shouldn't? Plants all have to have some kind of defense mechanisms, right? So if I would sneak up on Eliana and she didn't know and I touched her, what did you just do? Um, laughed. You laughed and you jumped back, didn't you? And how about Haley? I'm coming up to Haley and I touch her unexpectedly and she does react. Well, we are going to look at a plant now that reacts to touch and we are going to see what that plant does when you touch it, okay? Let's find out. I predict feathers. Feathers. Feather. Pinch. Go ahead, Eliana, and you tickle the plant with a feather. And Haley, you're timing that, right? Wonderful. Eliana, that took 10.26 seconds. Wow. Good job, Donna. Squeeze it, squeeze it. Can you, you started timing it? Good. That only took 4.24 seconds. That was really fast. Well, Donnie, it looks like your prediction came true. So that's their defense mechanism. They're closing up because if a butterfly lands on it, it wouldn't close up that quickly. But if a goat or a big cattle comes and it stomps on it and it's trying to eat it, it's going to close up very, very quickly and that would protect the plant from being eaten. Who knew? Plants can be ticklish too. I'm Thane Maynard. And I'm Ebony. And, and we'll, we'll see you at the zoo. zoo.